Yeah. Okay. Um, wow, Uta. Painting behind you, especially the right one, it looks for me yeah, like, like a sunset or sun rising in the mountains. This one. Yeah, on, yes, this yeah. one. Yeah. Did it inspire you to do this picture, to paint this picture? Yeah, this is a pure moment of, uh, of bliss. I really was uh, just inspired working with, uh, with again, as you can see, two colors, uh, just yes. this kind of orangey and this more um, uh, cherry red and, and working with a lot of water and you feel the water, as you can see, you know, and mm -hmm. the, the white yeah. is still the canvas. And I didn't add it. And this is, I mean, this is used a lot in, in watercolor, of course, um, where I come from, you know, I was trained for 10 years to do watercolors. So this shines through here a lot, this kind of knowledge, how to work with the water and to let the color develop, but to have this um, beautiful effect of a sunrise, like you say, uh, these are the, the moments where that you can't control when you work with watercolor. You're trying to go there because I'm not imitating anything. I wasn't looking for this particular form to take place. So it's basically a, a gift that was uh, given to us in this way. Yeah. So. Yeah. By the way, when did you start painting? Yeah, good question. I never stopped. I was like you. Everybody paints. Until you're 10 years old, you paint. You paint. Uh -huh. Everybody paints. Uh -huh. and, and then somehow some of us stop. And some continue. Uh -huh. And some stop and start. And I never stopped. The, the time when I studied... Um, you know, literature and politics, I painted very little. And when again I took a brush, I was uh, 20 years old and I had such a shock that I said, okay, this is it. This seems to be my world because I, I got such an, yeah, such an enormous energy just by having a brush, touching a wall with a piece of paper and doing a, a, a painting on it. So. That's, uh, that was the moment when I switched and started to, to study fine arts instead of literature. Yeah. yeah. I mean, painting, I wished I could painting, I could paint, um, because I think, yeah, like a musician who has his music, a painter who has his paintings, it's it's a enormous help in life i think uh, it's yeah it's something you which accompanies you all your life and and maybe can also help you in in bad situations just to get down as i mean emotionally bad situations it's like a refugee let's say what is it is painting for you sometimes a kind of refugee and no, not re a refugee. Yeah, right? I, I, I know what you mean. Um, I think right, the... Right, you, yeah, yeah right, well, you, a, well, the great value of art is exactly these qualities, no? That you draw within and they, that you produce something and you express something from within. A, a form of therapy, you could say. And it's used in therapy. And I assure you, you can paint, no? You can paint. You can use it as a therapy um which i always avoid it to be honest i only paint when i have the state of mind and the state emotionally that i can transmit something very empowering um transcending uplifting so I cannot paint every day. I cannot paint under stress. I don't use it as a tool. I try to produce something 
as I've been always trained as a professional artist, I was always trying to make a production, no? So I, I produce when I feel the moment is propice, the moment is there to do this. But um, yeah. but maybe I, I should, maybe I should, you're totally right, yeah. yeah. When, when do you paint? When, when is for you the right moment to paint? you plan it or it's like wow today I have to paint I, I, I I'm inspired by something I well um, things shift you know uh, it can happen that I plan it and I put myself in the in the in the frame and I keep everything you know out of my way so and make a, a very look because I have to work this kind of work you have to do continuously in hours you cannot just uh, stop because the water is running you have to be there you have to be present I mean th these are small paintings so th this is I can use the frame and and shiver it around but bigger paintings I really have to be there they dry slower I have to show uh, you know I have to put them on the floor lay them um, uh, or put them in a different position so that they they don't kind of destroy uh, the 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 effect that I had uh, I was looking for. So mm -hmm. so yeah, sometimes I plan and sometimes I'm yeah I have the spark you know I'm very inspired and I do it. Mm -hmm. But to answer to the question, maybe when I when I do something therapeutical, then I do collage. You know when when I just concentrate on. Um, on elements of life and then I make kind of like a they call it a, a poem picture picture poem you know so. okay.